You don't want one? Like this one? Mm -hmm. Do you want this one? No. No? But it's cute. You don't think it's cute? No. Oh, okay. Wow. Do you want a book? No. Oh, all right. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> it's me um welcome to my first ever weekly vlog i am feeling like crap i probably look as awful as i feel but i don't want this to be a depressing vlog so i just won't yeah go into that basically i'm sitting here i just uploaded a video well i've uploaded two videos but i always upload my videos as unlisted and then when i'm ready for them to really go up i'll put put them as public and put the right thumbnail and all that so I just wrote, or I just posted my life writing, reading, and channel goals for 2020, which I know was really super late because it's already January 22nd. But yeah, those are up since I've been having such a crappy week and I've been feeling so, uh, I've decided to stay in bed all day. So like, that's where I am. This is my bed. I look terrible. We've been over this, but... Yeah, so I'm in bed. My daughter is here with me climbing into our, like, ottoman, I guess. Our dog, um, Coda, is here. So, yeah, this is where I'm spending my day, and I'm about to edit a little bit. I've been kind of debating on if I'm going to dive into freelance editing, and I think that I will. So, I'm probably going to jump on Fiverr later and try to update that. And kind of make a decision on what I'm gonna do about freelance editing but I'm gonna try it out and see how I feel about it and see if I can maybe do that because I think that'd be a good way to earn some money and spend my time but yeah right now I'm just trying to force myself to edit because I don't like to do anything when I feel crappy and I just will procrastinate and not do it and I find editing to be difficult for me um reason I want to try freelance editing is because I know for other people, like when I'm editing somebody else's stuff, it's so much easier. But when I'm editing my own, I'm just sitting there like, uh, I don't know how to fix this. So I'm forcing myself to edit a few chapters today. I want to really dig deep and get deep into this book because I do have a goal and I do want to accomplish it and I do plan to. So that's important. I've been reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo which I am loving. I didn't read any yesterday because it was a crappy day, like the crappiest of crappiest days. So I want to get into that again today because I'm almost done. I think I'm like 100 pages left and I can read 100 pages in a day. So hopefully I can finish it tonight, start another book, and then I can have four or five books read this month, which would be great and amazing. So yeah, this is the first video on this vlog it's wednesday january 22nd so i will catch you guys a little bit later because this is gonna this is kind of boring i feel like i don't have much to say right now but yeah i will catch you guys later and i'll let you guys say hi to my daughter and my dog hi baby Abby. can you tell them you've been in the room all day yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta say hi. Hi. That was the weakest hi. Can I get a hi? No? Careful. You got it? Okay. Okay. Here, let me help you. Your little foot. Oh, you okay? Coda, can you say hi? Hi, Coda. Coda. Hi, Coda. Okay. I feel like it. Oh, get you my baby. Okay, so it is the next day. I suck at updating, and I'm so, so sorry. I know I'm supposed to update every day, but that didn't happen. So today I am going to take my daughter, hopefully, to the farm because I said that I would. It's like a farm and a park where we live. Yesterday, I didn't really do much else. I stayed in my room all day. I was supposed to edit. It didn't work out. Today, I'm going to get some editing done. I have to do the dishes. That's why I'm in my kitchen right now. I have to take the clean dishes out of the dishwasher, put the dirty dishes in, obviously. I have to clean up my kitchen a little bit because it's a little messy now. Um, I'm going to get my daughter something to eat, and I have like a big to-do list. Like, hold on. 
with my to-do list for today. This is like, this is my planner, by the way, guys. I got a cute little planner off Amazon for like seven bucks and I love it. So, boom, there's my lovely to-do list for the day. I have quite a bit to do, so I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. Essentially, we'll see what happens today and how much I can get done and how much is gonna have to like wait it out. I'm really not sure. Uh, I know I suck at vlogging, but I'm gonna get better. Hopefully with these weekly vlogs, I will get better and better at vlogging because yeah. But anyway, I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't wanna say too much because I don't know, like I'm buddy reading it with another booktuber. I think I said this before and I'll link her channel down below so you guys can go subscribe to her. It's awesome. But, I, oh my gosh, wait till we discuss this book, because this book, this book, oh, this book, it was so good. Like, I, I will say one thing, it is for sure worth the hype. If you haven't read it, go read it. It is just, it is, it is just so good. Anyway, besides that, now that I've finished a book, I'm starting a new one. Actually, I just checked my Goodreads reading challenge for the day, and I am one book ahead of schedule to make 60 books by the end of the year, so guys guys i want to finish another book before january is over i'm hoping praying that i can i'm thinking about starting um i just have this one out so that's why either throne of glass or the grisha trilogy i think it's shadow and bone is the first one i just don't know i said i was gonna start throne of glass after i read uh city of bones so I'm contemplating it, but then I have the entire Grisha trilogy, so once I like finish the first one, I can just like go through the whole trilogy. And then I also have the first and the Six of Crows duology, so I could just go from Grisha to Six of Crows, and that would be kind of perfect, I think. But I don't know, I'm still debating. Whatever I start today will be what I read, because I don't have any of the next books in this series, so if I really like it, I'm just gonna be SOL for a little bit, and I'm gonna have to go pick up the other books. And I also don't have, well yeah, I mean I have, like I said, I have the three books in the Grisha trilogy, but I also wanna read the next, I think I wanna read the next book in City of Bones, which is, uh, I don't know what the next book is, but I would have to go pick that one up too. I'm just unsure. It'll probably be this one because I've already pulled it off the shelf and I'm probably just gonna start reading it, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated in the vlog. I promise I'll update you guys again before the day is over. But yeah, that's where I am right now. That's why I'm in my kitchen. So I've gotta get my daughter something to eat and I've gotta do these dishes and I've gotta start checking things off my to-do list for the day. So I will talk to you guys after I do that and I will also be doing some editing. So. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little later. You got it! You got it? Do you need help? Do you need some help? Ready and try again? Okay. Okay. Getting back down. You had it the first time. Oh, here we go again. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got the second one. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. You almost had it. Your foot was right there. I got you. I got you. Put your foot up there. Good job. Okay, one more foot. Mommy's got you this time. Ready? Up, up. Oh, I got you. Up, up. Okay. Put yourself up. Yay! Good job. Okay, hey guys, you're back in my kitchen with me, and it is 11 something at night, and I haven't updated all day because I suck at vlogging and yeah but today was very productive I did the laundry I cleaned the kitchen I cleaned the bedroom 
I actually edited today. I made myself edit. Oh, imagine that. I forced myself to edit. I'm gonna finish this freaking book by May. That is the goal. And so I made myself edit and I've been writing in my planner, my plans for the next few days and for what's going on this week. I took my daughter to the park today. She watched a lot of Mickey Mouse and I think I am gonna start Throne of Glass because that's what I have out. So I feel like that just be the easiest book to start next and then we'll look at the Grisha trilogy later. But yeah, Throne of Glass, I'm about to come for it right now. I do read late at night sometimes. I might be up till two reading this if, I, if I'm interested and it gets really interesting. I don't know, but we'll see. Oh, I also have my freelance editing beta reading link live on Fiverr right now. So I'm super excited about that. Even though like no leads have come in, like nothing's happened and I'm not sure how to like market it and try to make it work, but it's something that I'm hoping I can get into. And so I'm really, really hype about it and seeing what's gonna happen I guess and hopefully getting some business and reading some great manuscripts from you guys or other people so yeah that's live right now and I'm I'm really feeling very very happy about that so yeah this is a really quick update like I said I suck at vlogging but I did take some videos while my daughter was at the park so you will see some of those on this vlog hopefully oh the lighting is good right here so yeah, right now I'm about to put her to bed and then I'm about to get in bed myself and I'm gonna read Throne of Glass, but nothing really happened today. Tomorrow I'll be filming um, another Diver Mad Writer excerpt thing for you guys because I haven't filmed one in forever. And then I have a video going up tomorrow that I'm gonna be posting and I need to edit a video either tonight or tomorrow night. Hopefully tonight, but Throne of Glass might take over so that might not happen. But yeah, that's that's where we are in this vlog. So I will see you guys in the morning. I have a full day tomorrow. I am going to Barnes and Noble with a friend of mine who is in school. I'm in school too, if you guys don't know. But she's probably gonna do some schoolwork. I'm gonna do some editing. I'm gonna knock out a couple more chapters in this book. I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling like if I force myself to do it, I definitely can do it. I just need to stop procrastinating. And I really wanna finish this book, so. I'm hoping that that'll be good for tomorrow. All right, well, with that being said, if I want to get up early, I'm going to have to go to bed soon. So I need to get my daughter in bed and I need to get up to bed so I can start reading this book. And I will update you guys and see you guys tomorrow. Baby. I love Baby, mm. what's she saying? Debbie, I do. My hair looks different, and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, it is Saturday, technically Sunday though, because it's like 2 a.m. I don't know. Don't ask me why I'm up. This literally, like this, this here, took me like three to four hours <sighs> but yeah I am so so sorry I've been sucking at updating you guys and I'm in my bed right now if you can't tell like by my covers <laughs> I'm also not wearing pants so there's that um I the last time I updated you guys was Thursday so I'm really really sorry nothing that eventful has happened Friday, um, yeah, I can't think of anything that happened on Friday. <laughs> I've just been, like, doing things around the house. I think I took my daughter to the park on Friday again. And then also today, I actually went to Barnes & Noble and I, I edited for, like, an hour and a half. 
and I've been doing really good with editing now that I'm kind of forcing myself to do it. And I took my daughter to story time at 11 too, so that was a thing. And then after that, I just kind of came home. I also spent like an hour in Walmart just looking at house stuff because, you know, one minute you're young and, you know, you're about partying and you're in college and everything's about having fun. And the next minute you're spending two hours in Walmart just staring at stuff, thinking about where you could put it in your house. That's me right now, guys. That's me. I'm at that stage. I get excited about pot holders now. Yeah. That is what's going on over here. I just felt bad because I haven't updated you guys. I also haven't filmed the Diary of a Mad Writer yet. So, yeah. I have a planner for a reason and it just seems like I'm not sticking to it. And I'm so, so sorry. I mean, I am sticking to it, but yeah, today, today wasn't the day. I was actually supposed to have an interview today, but it ended up getting canceled. So that kind of freed up my day a little bit, which I didn't really want because I kind of like to stay busy. I don't really like to have a lot of downtime, hence why I tackled this difficult style that took me like four hours because I just wanted to be busy and be doing something. Um, I had to do my homework on my planner today too. And that just didn't go well because my homework is to write a query and a synopsis for my book. And I'm not ready to do that. And I thought I'd have more time, but I don't have more time. And I'm scared because it's being graded and I don't want to get a bad grade. So I have to finish it tomorrow though because it's due tomorrow. And I just kind of feel like, oh my gosh, I just, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know, I just, I wrote a query before, actually I had a query and a synopsis written and I had them saved already so I looked at those but they're garbage, they're literally trash, there's like nothing good about them, they don't really go along with the feel of the story and another issue too is just that the story's taken a different route than it originally was taking. And because it's character driven and not plot driven, I'm not really sure how to write a query for it because it's not like a high fantasy or a fantasy novel where you can be like, oh, this is what's going on in this kingdom. And that's like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so interesting. There's magic in this kingdom where there wasn't or whatever the case may be. With me, it's just like, the characters, you're gonna get attached to them. Like, I don't know what else to say. Not that the book doesn't have things that happen in the actual plot line. Obviously, things happen because it's a book, but it's a coming of age tale about four friends. I mean, that's as much as I want to say right now about it. And I just don't know how to make a query for that sound interesting, I guess. My friend was trying to help me with it, but we really didn't come up with anything. She just kind of was like, well, maybe it'll come to you. And I was just like, I don't have time for it to come to me now because I have to do it for school and not just for myself. I thought I would have like a few more months before I had to do this because I'm not planning on being done until May. And I've been looking at one chapter for like two days now, just freaking staring at it. And I keep opening up later chapters while I still have this one chapter open because I don't know what to do with said chapter and I don't wanna not be productive so I just keep opening other chapters and like editing them instead of editing this one chapter. I've edited it but I keep getting it wrong. Like I've literally done it and then redone it like four or five times now. I've rewrote it and then I've been like, not the whole chapter, just the section that I'm editing and then I've been like, oh, this is good. And then I read the next chapter and I'm like, oh no, it's not. Cause no, that doesn't fit. That's not her personality. So then I have to go back and change it again. And then I'm like, oh no, this doesn't fit with this section in this chapter. It's just like, ugh. I just want to be done with this chapter guys. I just want to be done with it. Why do these things like keep happening? I feel like I'm filming Diary of a Mad Writer and I'm not. So let me just talk about my reading and what's going on with that. I have my book over here. You guys know I started Throne of Glass in this vlog. Here it is. I am sucking at reading now, which is crazy because I started the year off so strong and now I'm just like not strong. I don't know. I feel like it's just because I let my days get away from me and essentially I don't get the urge. Like I don't feel like reading so I just won't read. I'm only on page 14. I don't feel like it's a bad book. 
I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like reading. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Am I in a slump? Is this happening right now? Ugh, this is stressful. I think I am going to read a couple pages at least before I go to bed because I have read on my to-do list and I would like to check it off. It's on my to-do list every day. I don't know. I just, I'm to the point where I kind of want to do things. So it's the weekend and I kind of feel like I want to go do things and not just be sitting at home reading. I like to kind of get out of the house. So maybe tomorrow. Oh, and plus editing too. Oh my gosh. Plus editing on top of that is taking up a lot of time that I should be using to read or I could be using to read. I was going to say maybe tomorrow I will go somewhere and read. But I also need to edit tomorrow and I also need to turn my homework in. I don't know what I'm going to do. And this is like a long update. But yeah, that's where I am. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm just ready to go to sleep at this point. Oh, but on top of that, okay, so I guess I did do a couple other things today. I went to the dollar store today and I picked up this really cool reading Thing for a dollar where like it like you hook it on the oh I'm sorry I'm like not holding the camera right you hook it on the book and then it's a light so it's a reading light and it was only a book and I'm just really happy about it because it's so cute and little and adorable and it fits in my drawer my nightstand and so I think I'm going to start using this for reading at night maybe tonight who knows because I'm just really happy about it so yeah, that's what's been going on with me. I'm so boring, guys. Like, stop watching me. Why? Why are we here? Anyway, that's my life right now. This is my update on this vlog. I think that I have enough segments to try and compile this, but if not, you might be getting some clips from next week too added in. I mean, obviously, I will try to vlog tomorrow. Like I said, I have church and I also have an interview. And then I have homework to do, and editing to do, and reading, and mothering, and all that great stuff. So, who knows? I probably won't be doing anything extremely interesting. So, I don't know if I'll be vlogging, like, throughout the day, or just giving you an update at night like I am right now. But, yeah, that's what's been going on, guys. And it's not much, but, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have enough clips to put this into our first weekly vlog. And hopefully we get better from here because I feel like this is a terrible one. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, as far as weekly vlogs go, I would assume and I am pretty sure that I suck at them. That being said, though, hi, it is Monday and we are in the next week and I'm still doing a weekly vlog from, vlog from last week. So I'm just going to wrap it up hopefully in this clip and hopefully the next vlog you see won't be so sketchy and messy and all this other stuff. But I have, I believe I told you in the last clip, my query letter and synopsis due in school. I'm out walking my dog right now, so... That's why it looks like this outside, beautiful, everything's great. So I'm still not done with those. They were due last night and I feel so bad because I was just so tired. I could not finish them. I was so exhausted. I've had a headache. It's been, oh, it's been a whirlwind, but I'm finishing them today. I have an interview in the next 30 minutes or so. So I'm rushing to walk my dog before my interview and I'm rushing to, you know, I had to come back home. I've been gone all day. I found a cafe, a really, really cute cafe. Hopefully I can vlog there soon. Haven't done it yet, obviously, but this cafe is geared towards mothers and families. And I think that's awesome. They literally have a play area right by where you're gonna be sitting. So you can like let your child go play while you're having coffee or having a sandwich or whatever you're, getting from there they have sandwiches and all kinds of coffee and tea and pastries and things and I just think it's a fantastic idea when I get up the nerve hopefully I will be able to vlog there and hopefully more places like that open up I just think that that's so wonderful geared towards families where we can go with our our kids stay, being a stay-at-home mom is hard being a mom in general is hard and I feel like giving the mo a mom an opportunity to get out of her house with her child in a place that's kid friendly where she doesn't have to worry so much is just, it's great, it's fantastic. So yeah, my interview on Saturday, I don't know if I updated you guys, but I think I got the position. 
so I'll be watching the cutest little four month old baby. Hopefully next week is when I'll start and oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I love babies. I am such a baby person. I know my daughter isn't exactly grown up. I mean, she's only a year and some change, but my God, I just love infants. Like, <laughs> I am so happy I get to watch an infant. It's so, it's so exciting. It just, it's everything. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me, guys. Um, I'm waiting for my dog to poop. You would think he would have done it by now, and he hasn't. And I just want him to poop so I can go inside because it's cold. <laughs> but yeah, my life is still super boring. Not much going on, except for, you know, the whole cafe thing and all that. This will probably be the last video in this vlog. So yeah, please give me some pointers on how you feel like I can improve my vlogs because I would love to know. I am just trying this out because I see a lot of other YouTubers, booktubers, author tubers doing it, and I really like the idea of sharing kind of like the everyday of Andrea with you guys. So yeah, let me know what I can do to improve it. Thank you so much for being interested in my boring, plain old booktuber, author tuber life, and I will see you guys in the next vlog, which I will probably start recording today, actually, so I can like give you guys some updates after my interview and stuff, and let you guys know how it went. And hopefully my dog will poop because I've just been waiting for him to poop for forever. So yeah, all right. And if you haven't already, <laughs> please leave me a like or a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to my channel. Tell me what more you wanna see from me. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I would love to connect with you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.